Good afternoon. This is the 20th of January, and this is Chloe's new litter of babies. Um, we're going to do this really quickly because she's having a fit because we took her kids. She's got three girls, three boys. They were born yesterday. Uh, they're just about 24 hours old right now. Uh, they're doing really good. Uh, tails are tied. Dew claws are already finished. Um, these three are the girls. These three are the boys. So we're going to go through here and give you microchip numbers let you see them. This is a chocolate phantom. We don't get them very often, but this one is a really awesome phantom. Light colored eyebrows, light strips down the legs, uh, the light cross across the chest, the face, and then under the tail. Uh, this is a female, and her last four microchips are 3646, and you can see those under her photos, and there's a picture of her back. But she's doing really good. They all are so far. This is a black and white female. She's got really pretty face. She's got all white belly. I guess I should show you. This gal's got a big white strip under this belly if she'll lay down there for a second. There you go. There's her belly. Okay. So this little black gal has really nice spots down her back. She's got black down her tail. She's got a white tip on her tail. And she's really, she's marked really pretty. So all of them are starting to show a little bit of wave on their coat. And her last four microchip numbers are 3863. Okay, let me stick her back down. This is a Blue Merle Party female. Um, she's got the Blue Merle speckles on here and on her tail. She's got beautiful face, got a white strip down her face. She has an all white belly. Her mom's over here crying. She says, give me my babies back. I'm hurrying. Last four microchips are 4554. And I'll give you another. There's a picture of her back with her coloring. All right. So that's the girls. Now let's move into the boys. So this one, honestly, we can't tell you. We think it is, I think it's a blue Merle. But in some of the photos, it really looks chocolate. But to look at it in person, it's like a dark slate gray with a hint of brown. So this is either going to turn into a chocolate Merle. You'll have to excuse the furnace just turned on in the garage. Um, but it's either going to be a chocolate Merle or blue Merle. But lots of nice coloring. It's got white front feet. It also has white on both back feet. And he has a big white chest on the front and a white goatee. Alright, so this is the little peewee of the litter. Uh, he's doing really good. He is a chocolate and he's got a dark mask. I don't know that he'll hold the dark mask, but um, as of right now, he's got a dark mask. He's got a really cool... Chloe, quit. He's got a really cool coloring on the back. She says, give me my babies. White belly, white chin. He's going to have white all around his nose. All right, and I guess I should give you his microchip number, and he is the littlest one in the litter. 7152 is his last four microchips. One more, and you can have them back. All right, this is a chocolate and white party male, number 4955. He has a chocolate dot on his back. <coughs> Excuse me, chocolate tail with a white tip. And a beautifully, perfectly marked chocolate and white face. Uh, he's got, you can see the back of him there. <coughs> Excuse me, belly is all white. And uh, anything that's a chocolate is going to have green eyes. So uh, the phantom, this little guy, and this one will have green eyes. The two Merles, they're either going to have blue eyes or they're going to have, well, if he's a chocolate Merle, he'll end up with green eyes. But they could have the blue eyes, but you never know till about six weeks old. Uh, it's not really usual to get all blue eyes, but sometimes we luck out and we get them. Um, and the black and white will have black eyes. So that gives you a glimpse into them. Like I say, they're doing really good. Um, it has their microchip numbers on their photos, but they're pretty much easy to tell apart from the pictures. And uh, by the time you see the video, hopefully I will have all their individual photos on. So if you have any questions, please give me a call. Don't email me right now. I'm just too busy for my email. So please call me for the rest of the month. So um, have a great week. We'll talk to you later.